Hello everyone, welcome once again to ATAC. Today we're going to show you a video about what we undoubtedly revolutionize satellite launch techniques. Will huge rockets that are clogging with filthy smoke soon be a bad memory? That's the crazy bet that the Californian startup has taken on. This company is trying to complete with the space pioneers. It is currently testing a giant centrifuge capable of launching a small object into space without use of fuel. After the test, the goal is to help NASA launch satellites using the catapult. This is an idea developed by the company Spin Launch. How is this possible? Before answering, we invite you to subscribe to the channel. Spin Launch is a company founded in 2014 by Jonathan Yanni. Unlike the startups targeting the space, Spin Launch hasn't focused much on advertising. Most on marketing was done quietly. Despite this, it managed to get a lot of big companies interested, and that's how it received financial support from many investors. In particular, $40 million was received to develop the project. Among the investors are Airbus Ventures, Google, and KPCB. It has even managed to attract the interest of Pentagon. Spin Launch has already started the test phase. The startup headquarters have moved to Long Beach, but they have rented a space at Spaceport America in the United States. So far, only the experimental launcher has been built there. So, after Elon Musk's SpaceX, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, there's another company entering the space race. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have both succeeded in building a reusable rocket, but Jonathan Ye is banking on a catapult launch. Let's first try to understand why there is such a craze in this space race. On September 12, 1962, President Kennedy made a speech about America's ambitions to go to the moon by the end of the 1960s. Since then, NASA has been developing technologies for various lunar missions. Thousands of satellites were sent into orbit. The only thing that seems to slow down NASA is the operations is the high cost of their missions. Indeed, 90% of the expenses concern fuel used to take off. It should be considered that most of the launch models are lost after they're put into orbit. Regarding the models, NASA has solved the problem by using Space Shuttle, which functions of both a launch and a spacecraft. After its mission in space, it returns to Earth as a glider. This saved NASA several million dollars. However, the Challenger explosion in 1986 and the Columbian explosion in 2003 led to the abandonment of the space shuttle, opening the way for other possibilities. Among the most promising projects, those of SpaceX and Blue Origin have already passed the test. Elon Musk thinks he can save up to nearly $60 million with this system. Facing these giants, the company Spin Launch hopes to divide by 10th of the cost of launching satellites. With the catapult, there is no need for it to use expensive fuel for the launch. The spin launch catapult seems to be the right solution. NASA is on the origin of the studies on the launch without a rocket, which goes back to the 1970s. At the time, it was already clear that the launching of a rocket was quite expensive in terms of fuel. With the collaboration of a research agency and the American Army, it explores alternatives. We find this space endeavor, the launching ramps, and even the electromagnetic guns. However, all these projects are abandoned. They were all considered infeasible, but in recent years, the world has been surprised by the ambitions of Spin Launch, which has taken up the idea of launching satellites without the intervention of rockets. It is even thinking of going further in its research. As proof, NASA has signed a contract for its first tests. But how does the space slingshot actually work? At first glance, the idea developed by Spin Launch is not all that complicated. It involves the principle of centrifuge, hence the name Space Slingshot. The load to be satellitized is installed in the SALS. It is a vacuum chamber. When everything is in place, the mechanism is then put into rotation. The load does not undergo any friction. It can reach a phenomenal speed. The machine is then separated from the centrifuge when the desired speed is reached. For this reason, the process is considered to be like a slingshot that throws pebbles. But this time, the load goes far away. And for the purposes of orbiting, it will go much higher. The centrifuge can deliver a speed of more than 8,000 kilometers an hour to the projectile. One can compare this project to a science fiction movie. Thus, the first test shows great hopes. The A33 prototype has passed a successful test. The project used to reach several kilometers of altitude with a speed of 1,600 kilometers an hour. This means that the project can revolutionize the world of satellites. In addition, the centrifuge was only used at 20% of its maximum capacity during the test. But apart from the technological prowess, the Space Slingshot offers other advantages. This type of satellite launch is considered more environmentally friendly. The reason lies in the absence of fuel. The centrifuge operates only on electricity. By using solar or wind energy, an ecological launch can be achieved. 
but the biggest advantage is very low launch costs. This is even the reason why NASA is attracted to the test contract. Nevertheless, the contract is only limited to the Stringshot Demonslator. NASA is not yet considering using spin launch spacecraft to launch its satellites. It still prefers to wait for the results of the test. That's why the startup is multiplying its tests. The goal is to show the project is feasible. With the investment of NASA, it thinks it can obtain results within a few years. With spin launch in the direct competition of SpaceX and Blue Origin, the space race is open to the general public. This competition can accelerate discoveries. Another advantage, and not the least, is the spin launch offers simple launch preparation. Indeed, it is hoped that such a device will be able to perform multiple launches per day with the least possible interval. We're aware that such high productivity will surely have a major impact on the economic performance. Also, there will be less human resources involved in the launch of satellites by propulsion. Unlike a rocket launch, which requires the assistance of engineering and several professionals, the Catapult gravely reduces those costs. However, despite of many advantages, there are many major challenges to achieve these goals. The first is the overall complexity of the design for a large thrust. Creating a vacuum chamber with such a large size has no small feat, but was doable. On the other hand, let's not forget that the objective is to be able to propel small satellites into space. The operability and the reliability of such a unit is essential for the functioning of the whole system. Any cracks and damage caused by the vacuum can have more serious consequences in the long term. The second disadvantage of the system and the concept in general lies in the limited energy capacity. Indeed, if one has to rely on the size of the launcher to know what kind of satellites will be put into orbit, this will limit its customers. Today, using rockets that do not place limitations on satellite size or weight might be one of their greatest challenges. For example, SpaceX's primary customer are national space agencies. There's also commercial operators for space satellites. To name just one, there's the famous Iridium. We still remember that in September 2014, SpaceX designed a very important partnership agreement with the American space agency NASA. As a result, SpaceX is now the company responsible for sending equipment and astronauts into the inter International Space Station. This partnership no longer requires NASA to rely on Russian transportation. So, will Spin Launch be able to find its place among these big names? The future will tell soon. For now, we look forward to seeing these projects come to fruition. And that's it! Our videos are coming to an end. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to enable notifications, and most importantly, leave us a little blue thumb to encourage our team. Thank you, and see you soon on ATEC.